Welcome to another Leumi Investment Corner. With us once again, Michael Zaremski. He is the head of U.S. Private Banking for Bank Lumi USA, member of the Investment Committee for Lumi Investment Services. So good to have you back. How are you doing today? Doing great, Jeff. Thank you. Great to be back. Great response to our last week's uh, segment uh, dealing with technology and innovation. So every week I know you have a catchphrase that's the uh, what we talk about that particular week. So what's the catchphrase for today? Well, I think today we're going to talk about innovation, technology, how the world's changing. And I think really the catchphrase is uh, evolve or become extinct. And I think that that really capsulizes how our companies in the U.S. economy need to adapt to the changing world that we're engaged in as technology shifts from just being information to data usage and, and we continue to get more effective in terms of innovation, efficiency, productivity, and disruptions to the economy because of technology. Well, I think technology has a tremendous impact on everything, whether it's health care, the kinds of taxis or car services you take. It's moving very fast, very rapidly, and it's changing the economy in so many different ways. I completely agree with you, Zev. And I think what we're starting to really see right now is the evolution of technology where if you think back, you know, 20, 30 years ago, it was all about programming. And then it became about complex programming languages. Then it became about software. Then it became about apps and then the cloud. And now we're really into enterprise systems and more so it's how do we use all these technologies that came out of the tech sector and how are they really impacting all the industries that are not really purely tech related. And there's so many examples in every industry and every sector and what you're seeing more and more of is that the leading companies, regardless of what sector they're in, they are the technology companies of that sector. Um, it struck me uh, a couple weeks ago I was listening about how some of the drive-through restaurants are using license plate recognition to detect patterns and behaviors from consumers that are repeat customers and how they know that if you're frequenting the store at certain times, you're using kind of big data technology to increase or improve your experience through the drive-through because they know what you might want or they know what to promote for you or they, or they know what may interest you in terms of when you're there, how you're there, and how you're interacting with them. So we're becoming more efficient, which means if you're more efficient, you save money, and it adds, I think, to economic growth. Uh, 100%. And I think that so, there's a lot of things that are happening in the economy that we're taking for granted and not even realizing where the information technologies are, where the innovations are. And we talked last week in, a little bit in terms of the military. Uh, and, again, when we think about the D-Day landing with 150,000 troops and where that manpower would be, and I think so much of what we're seeing now is how that manpower is no longer being used in the labor aspects of it. That manpower is really being used at the other side of it, which is in the innovation, in the technology development, in the thought process to create to, to create things. Um, I'm, I'm struck so many times by so many of the different things that we see. Um, you know, one of the most amazing um, technological growth areas in this country right now is the energy industry. And I know that a lot of us, when we think about the energy industry, we think still think about the wildcatters looking to drill, looking to get a hole in the ground to get the oil gusher. But when you think about how the energy sector has changed so dramatically because of innovation and technology, it's now a matter of using very sophisticated seismic imaging equipment, something that would be similar to a you know, three-dimensional um, uh, sonogram mapping out the ground looking for shale reserves, then taking a drill, driving the drill down several miles into the ground, having it split out into multiple different heads, and then drilling horizontally across a shale field to extract natural gas and oil. To me, that is one of the most technologically amazing things that we've done in the last few years, and you can see the impact on the economy with the United States now basically becoming energy independent because of the innovation and the technological changes that we've had in the energy sector. And a lot of this is, starts with the development of software with chipsets with things that we think of as technology, but it's the crossover from the technology sector into the other sectors of the economy that are really creating these technological booms and these massive improvements in efficiency and productivity. 
I mean, you're so right. I remember, uh, what was it, 20, 30 years ago when there was a problem getting oil, we almost it almost tanked the economy. It did have a tremendous impact. Today, events in the Middle East don't impact us, the oil as much because of fracking. We're more becoming more self-sufficient, more independent. So little things that would rattle the market maybe 10 years ago or five years ago doesn't do it today. Exactly. And what's even more fascinating is that within the last few years, uh, in Israel, which has always been a country that's been starved for natural resources, uh, they made one of the largest uh, discoveries of a natural gas field in many years, which is the Levantian field, which is kind of off the coast of Haifa. And again, using technology to find the field, using sophisticated technologies to extract it, Israel is actually exporting fossil fuels to some of its neighbors and, again, creating a much more stable economic situation for Israel as well and kind of helping to promote uh, commerce within the region. So no matter how you shape it, no matter how you look at it, you see how these innovations and how these technological changes are just reshaping everything that we do. Uh, And, again, I think so much of how we see it also is the creative minds that are going in to create um, you know, new you know virtual workspaces to create marketplaces, not just of goods. You know, eBay was a a, a phenomenal change in terms of how they created a, a new marketplace for goods. But now you're having companies come on that are creating marketplaces for services, uh, creating very efficient streams where you can connect people from different countries or different regions to be able to match buyers and sellers of goods, services, or other needs and again, in a very efficient manner where people can really shape their lives uh, in a much different way than just going into a job working 9 to 5. Michael Zaremski, head of U.S. private banking for Bank Lumi USA, member investment committee for Lumi Investment Services. Thank you for being here with us. And if you have any questions, please call Michael at 800-892-5430, 800-892-5430. Look forward to speaking with you again next week. Thank you, Zev. Always a pleasure.